Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my Thursday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. And today we're going to be continuing our Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke run. Welcome in Kendra, welcome in Koneko. I see that Kendra was able to get the first today. Um, taking the first from Koneko because apparently Twitch don't do notifications for Koneko anymore. I don't know what's up with that. It needs to chill out. It needs to be doing that. <laughs> yes, the dog is being a little crazy today. She's a little crazy today. Um, <laughs> but uh, the boys are occupied doing some other things. So I do have the door cracked. But don't be surprised if she does a lot of back and forth because the door is like right over there out of frame. Y'all can't see. Um, and she can barely walk. So she's a little bit she's a little bit funny with how she gets around. Y'all usually don't see it because she's like under me asleep. <laughs> but today she's decided she's going to run around the house. Hopefully she doesn't pee. If she does, y'all let me know, because it will at least while we're on this screen, you'll be able to see it. She just went outside, so she shouldn't, but you know, you know. <laughs> I saw Twitter before Twitch sent the notif. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, and uh, I made sure Discord sent its notif today, but of course it takes a few minutes. Like, it's going to do it three minutes. Like, that's the fastest it can do it. So I've got a special thing that I want to show you guys. Hey, Blue, yes, this is Riri. She's my puppy, and see, she knows her name. She, uh, She's usually underneath me, so y'all can't see her, but that's one of our babies. That's our, our original baby. She's actually an old lady now. She's like 17 years old. But I've got something fun today. So this, um, this place that's not too far from my house started advertising that they have Junior's Bakery Desserts, Junior's from New York. So look what I've got, you guys. Look what I have got. It is a piece of Junior's Cheesecake. What? Oh my god. So when I was in New York, I did have some Junior's Cheesecake. So I want to see if this compares. Yeah, she's an elder puppy. She's an elder puppy. Oh, and there's... What is that? Who's that? That's... Oh, well, Lady! Hi, that's Lady! She looks a lot darker in the camera. Lady, you can't have no cheesecake. You better not come up here, girl. And she came up here. Of course she did. She loves human food. You can't have no cheesecake. All right, let's see if it tastes anything like Junior's. It actually kind of does, despite the fact that I'm not anywhere close <laughs> to New York. <laughs> yeah, Blue, that's exactly what happened. I knew she was going to. I'm going to eat a strawberry, too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Eliza keeps feeding Sif my graham crackers. Wow, Kendra. Sif's going to become addicted to graham crackers. Here, you can play with the fork, lady. What do you think about that? Okay. I'm going to close this box until lady gets bored. I don't want her eating cheesecake. There you go. Yeah, you can play with the fork. You love trash. Here. <laughs> Fail jump. Wow. <laughs> Lady, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to laugh at you, but that was really funny. <laughs> hmm. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> I'm ready. Can you guys believe that we're at Victory Road? I didn't think we'd get here, but we did. But first... We're going to find out. What type of gym leader are you? I figured this was appropriate since we beat all the gyms. We should know what type of gym leader we all are. So this person says, I've been playing a ton of monotype on Pokemon Showdown, and I noticed some things. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Reset road. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, we beat all the gyms. If we don't win the whole Nuzlocke now... I don't think I'll be too disappointed because I didn't think we'd get this far. So I'll be a little sad, but I think we'll be okay. Here we go. First things first, where's your gym? It's in a charming little suburb. Nothing much, but it feels like home. It's in a bustling city. You'd miss the gym if, it, if you weren't careful. It's in a secluded village with a deep history tucked away in the mountains. It's near an impressive natural landmark like a deep cave or a thick forest. It's in a moderately large town. The gym fits in with other Pokemon landmarks like the library or museum. I like this answer, moderately large town. 
I wouldn't think I'd get this far. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's how I feel. I don't know. I'm surprised we're still playing the Nuzlocke. I thought we'd be moved on to a, a, a different game, you know, or um, or finishing up Final Fantasy X stuff or things like that. What's the layout of your gym? Literally just a couple trainers standing in a room, then a place for me to battle the challengers, maybe some cool decorations, not much, but it's simple and gets the job done. I stand at the end of a long, disorienting puzzle. Children will look up solutions online, and I will laugh at their incompetence. No puzzle, no trainers, just me. Let's battle. I have a bunch of contraptions that take the player around the whole gym. It's fun. Um, I think this one for me. I have some friends, some decorations. That's it. The first challenger of the day is ready to battle you. When they finally see you, what are you wearing? Normal clothes, I guess. If you saw me outside the gym, you wouldn't know I'm a gym leader. I dress pragmatically. Battling is intense, and I need to be prepared. I'm not trying to prove a point or anything, but I dress on my own style. I'm a gym leader. I can do that. Something that shows off my muscles. Urgh. You know I'm tough just by looking at me. I wear an absolutely dazzling outfit all the time because that's my gift to the world. You're welcome. Wow. <laughs> uh, normal clothes. I mean, I would probably dress like this. A t-shirt and um, yoga pants yoga pants so my thighs don't rub together because <clears throat> battling probably makes you sweaty you're in the heat of battle what best describes your competitive spirit losing isn't an option i'll give it my best shot i'm in here to have fun it's not about winning it's about sending a message Ooh, okay so how about i'm just here to have fun i think that's the most me the challenger came prepared but you've got one pokemon left and the battle is far from over what sounds most like your signature Pokemon? A well-rounded and adaptable with great coverage for any weakness. It's insanely fast or uses priority. It clutches out a win before our opponent can strike back. It's like a truck, brute force all the way. It's a wall, nothing gets past us. It's clever, together we outsmart our components. I don't know, I just like it. Let's be real, y'all saw me do the Poke Bros meme. I'm here for the designs, like, I'm here for the designs. Despite your best efforts, it wasn't enough. You lost. What do you say when you give the trainer your badge? The question is flawed. I simply wouldn't lose. <laughs> well done, Challenger. You've earned this badge. Nice work, kid. Oops. Ha. Here's your badge. That was fun. Silently gives the trainer the badge. Oh my god, this is so crazy. I swear this never happens. Rematch soon. Ugh, I lost to a little literal child. Take this badge and leave. I would say well done. I would say well done. Oh, you got steel. Ooh, what's the description for steel, Kendra? The player leaves your gym at their, and their story progresses. Do they see you at all for the rest of the game? No, I spend my free time doing fun projects unrelated to Pokemon. No, I just get ignored, I guess. Oh, you got Steel too, Koneko? Okay, I'll see if I get Steel. Yes, I'm friends with plenty of other strong trainers, and I appear in 10-second cutscenes where I help take down the evil team. Yes, I'm a very active member of my town's community, and I work together with the player to run some brief errands. Yes, I share my knowledge with the player and help them navigate. Yes, this one, the sharing knowledge, I think. Yes, I'm highly competitive and I want a rematch. Yes, I'm pretty and I want a rematch. I think I share my knowledge. A steel Pokemon are unquestioningly strong and reliable. They won't let you down. And as a steel type gym leader, you won't let down your Pokemon either. Most steel type enthusiasts are introverted and self-sufficient, but also amicable and humble. You're not the flashiest gym leader, probably the opposite, but everyone likes you and respects you. Oh, you'll do get a lot of the same answers on the quizzes. Lady, you are bored of the fork already? I heard you playing with it. I could hear you ripping the stuff off. You still can't have no cheesecake, so give it up. Be honest, was your gym all that difficult? Are kids complaining about you at the playground? My gym is tough and I've got a reputation. My gym is respectable. I put up a good fight, but I'm not the talk of the town. Probably not. I would say probably respectable. It's been a long day and you've battled dozens of trainers. How do you feel at the end of your shift? I feel overloaded by social interaction. I smile and maintain professionalism the whole day, but now I will go home and sleep. <laughs> Relatable. I feel fine. Just another day at the gym, I suppose. I feel great. I love meeting new people in Pokemon every day. I love showing off my team. Every battle, I learn something new and improve. I feel stronger than ever. I feel pretty good. Occasionally, I have a battle where everything goes perfectly, and that keeps me energized. Um, I don't know if it's this one or this one. I guess it really... Is, it depends on how chatty the trainers are. If they want to just battle, it's probably this one. But if they want to, like, talk me up, I'm probably closer to this one. Um, so I think I'm going to go with this one because I'm pretty good at people getting people to stop talking to me at work anyway. 
I'm busy. I have shit to do. Sorry. <clears throat> um, no, we're not going to do the text box. Okay, I got steel too. Okay, you guys. I guess it's I guess it's steel for all of us. All the chill peeps get steel. Ooh, grass. Uh, Blue, what does yours say? What does grass say? Yeah, steel Pokemon are unquestionably strong and reliable. They won't let you down. And as a steel type gym leader, you won't let your Pokemon down either. Most steel type enthusiasts are introverted and self-sufficient, but also amicable and humble. You're not the flashiest gym leader, probably the opposite, but everyone likes you and respects you. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think like favorite steel Pokemon. I definitely like the, the little steel electric mouse in the one gen where that's like the Pikachu clone. It's steel type. Both my OG fave Pokemon, Lucario, and the legendary that left the biggest impact on me, Cobalion, I think that's how you say that one, are steel type. Interesting. Trainers who specialize in grass can find fascinating qualities in even the tiniest things. They're usually calm, understanding, and pretty nerdy. Grass Pokemon don't deal with the most damage, but they have more utility than other types. Recovery, various energies, weather, status, conditions. You and your Pokemon have unmatched resourcefulness and perseverance. Oh, that's a good one, Blue. I like that. Yeah, Togedemaru. And I have a really soft spot for Clink as well, the Clink line. Um, it got a lot of complaints. I remember when that gen came out, of like, it's not even an animal. And I'm like, y'all, Voltorb wasn't an animal either. So like, what do you want? <laughs> I love the Clink line. I think it's so cute. Thought I would actually get something like a fighting type gem. Well, let's see what most people get. So most people apparently get water or psychic. Fighting's 9% and then it's kind of like small from there. Let's see where grass is. Grass is super rare. Okay, grass is super rare, and then no one gets rock, apparently. But I liked what it said for steel. I'm not mad at it. I wouldn't choose steel for myself, but the way they describe it, I vibe, I vibe with this description, even though I don't necessarily feel like I vibe with steel types. You know what I'm saying? All right, you guys. Because <clears throat> touching grass is rare amongst gamers. That's true. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> you actually earthed today. <gasps> really? What did you do? All right, you guys. Here we go. It is Pokemon time. So the first thing we're going to do, and y'all let me know game levels. Koneko, you're pretty reliable for that. So please let me know if it sounds too quiet, too loud, too whatever. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to fly down to Cinnabar. And um, we are going to go get Almanite from the Cinnabar lab. He should be ready. Literally took off my shoes and planted my feet in the soil and grass. Oh, that's nice. Oh, wait, that's the gym. I didn't mean to go into the gym. I wanted to go into the research lab. Oh, that's the mansion. No, the lab's over here. Oh, my God. Get your bearings. Game's quiet. Okay. Tell me if that sounds a little bit better um, after you've had a chance to like really listen. Is it this guy? No, it's one of those. It's one of the rooms. The quiz knew about my day. It did know. It did know. Um, it was actually like really hot today here uh, compared to how it has been. We've had like really, really nice days lately, but today was actually like freaking hot. Um, no, I don't know. I don't want metronome. I know you think it's fun. I'm looking for the lab guy. I can't remember which room he's in. He's somewhere around here. Um, that should be better. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Koneko. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that um, that particular uh, quiz maker was just like really uh, prophetic. Okay, let's see what we have for names. I can't. I don't. I can't remember if we have any names in the queue or if we need some new names, guys. We might need some new names. Uh, let's see. Are there any names in the queue? Lord Helix. We can totally name him that blue. You don't really spend your points. Put in your um put in your points for Lord Helix. We must prepare the Lord Helix. <laughs> okay, 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 you guys. He's Lord Helix. He's Lord Helix. Someone make it official. Hello. Lord Helix. Oop. L. I. X. 
Okay. Thank you, Blue. Thank you. <laughs> and I had just spent my points on it. Yes, we'll do Lord Helix. We'll do no, I wanted someone to spend points. That makes it official. That makes it real. But we'll do Lord Helix. I knew it was going to happen. Yeah. Okay. So Lord Helix. That's on my 90. Okay. Yay. Do I have... Did I do Aerodactyl already? I can't remember. Yeah, okay. So we'll give him the Aerodactyl. Yes. Alright, we're gonna go for a walk. So, also, another fun thing that I did is, uh, in between streams, I redid my bit badges and my, um, sub badges. So, instead of a dragon, now it's a dragon kitty cat. So, like, in my mind, you know how the emojis are queen? Um, the bit badges are... Why is this working? There we go. Oh, I'm still inside. Um, and the bit badges are Lady, being a dragon, because she is. She's very chaotic like that. And then... Or sorry, the sub badges are Lady being a dragon. And the bit badges is a, um, unicorn doggy. So that's Riri being a unicorn. And I think that's very fitting, because Riri definitely is a unicorn. She was our first pet. And um, every year when she gets a good bill of health from the vet, she's like so old, <laughs> I am surprised, like happily surprised, but, um, but she does. Uh, let's see how many potions and stuff I have. Okay, I'm good on potions. Oh my, I got, I got a lot of ultra balls. All right. All right, all right, all right. We are good. And here we go. Time to get our rival. What, Karen, what a surprise to see you here. So you're going to the Pokemon League? You collected all the badges too? That's cool. Then I'll whip you, Karen, as a warm-up for the Pokemon League. Oh, please, booty. Come on. <clears throat> yes, no, I understand. It's a, it's a good name, Blue. Lord Helix. I was going to say Unicorgi, but Doggo is not a Corgi. Well, she, we do say she's a Corgi mix. We don't really know. We got her from the shelter, but we do like to say that. Um, so yeah, that's good. She's a Unicorgi. And that's pretty close. She has little legs and she has a round barrel body. <sighs> oh, rude. Rude Pidgeot. Okay. Let's, um, spark. Oh, hi, lady. What's up? You come back for more cheesecake? You can't have it. Super effective. Oh, yeah, and he's paralyzed. Nice. We're gonna spark again. Oh, lady, I can't see through your butt. I really can't. I have not developed the superpower. So, you really need to not be on the desk. Hi. <laughs> She's, like, very carefully, like, stepping over the keyboard <laughs> as she walks. <laughs> yes, we're gonna use Lapras for the Rhyhorn. <laughs> How rude of Bird Jesus to face off against his Lord's team, I know, right? Lady, stop playing with things. <clears throat> uh, let's see. We're gonna surf. I got... I have a really bad reaction to mosquito bites, so there's some afterbite on my desk, because it's hot, and I've been getting mosquito bites. So, Lady wants to play with it. You stop it. Sweet! Execute! Uh, yes. We are going to use Moisty. She did say kiss my tail! No, Lady. You can get kisses on your forehead, but not on the tail. That's weird. All right, let's wing attack. Oh, almost a no-co. I thought it was going to be for a second. Oh, yeah. I like it when they miss. <clears throat> she really wants this cheesecake. Like, she just... She, I think she's coming over here because she just wants to sniff the cheesecake. This cat is insane for human food. Like... She wants to eat anything and everything. I have never met a more omnivorous cat than this one right here. If we're eating, she wants to eat it. Isn't that right, lady? Don't look guilty at me like that. She's giving me the guiltiest look, you guys. <sighs> oh, he's so fast. Alakazam's so fast. But can I? Ah, oh, yes. Hell yes. Oko. Love it. Stop playing with the afterbite, lady. Alright. Uh, who do I want to use 
for Gyarados? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll use Lord Oreo again. We'll zap him. We'll zap that. Mm -mm -mm. Lady, I wish you would not. Lady, don't you? No, you can't step on the keyboard. You're gonna mess up my game. Whoever made maternity shirts cling is my enemy. Who would do that? <laughs> Why would you want them to be clingy? <laughs> How are you doing, by the way, Kendra? Oh, I missed what's coming next. I assume it's I assume it's Charizard, because I think he's used everything else. So we're going to switch back to Caroline. Um, how are you feeling, by the way, with the uh, nausea and stuff? Are you starting to feel better, or is it still pretty bad? Uh, let's surf. Today is rough? Oh, I'm sorry. I miss your streams, and I miss you coming to community days sometimes. I keep I keep hoping that, hoping that the um, morning sickness will uh, dissipate. <laughs> Yesterday was alright, only threw up once. Okay, well, you know. I guess that's not too bad. <laughs> hoping. I like to throw up zero times in a day, personally, but I understand what you're saying. What? I was just careless, you. Okay, whatever you say, sir. Whatever you say. That loosened me up. I'm ready for the Pokemon League. Karen, you need more practice. But hey, you know that. I'm out of here. Smell ya. Blue, I won. Okay? I won. Christ. Oh yeah, his name is Booty in this. Booty, I won. You cannot change that. Um, yes. <laughs> Sorry, Blue. <laughs> Sorry. I, I remembered we named him uh, Booty in this, but I remembered too late. It's been a second since we fought our rival. Blooty. <laughs> Alright. We healed up. Let's go. Let's traverse. Oh, this poor Rattata, level 4. We're gonna run. Driving tomorrow to my parents for dad's surgery. Oh, okay. Good luck driving with those symptoms. I'm so sorry. I hope you're not gonna be doing the driving. I hope your um, hubby is driving for you. Oh, that's the boulder badge. Go right ahead. We have to pass all these gates. You can pass here only if you have the cascade badge. Oh, that's the cascade badge. Okay then, please go right ahead. Don't worry, I will. You can pass here only if you have the thunder badge. Unfortunately, it's just me and Eliza. Oh no, I'm so sorry, Kendra. Ooh. Rainbow badge. I have the rainbow badge. Yes, I would like to surf. That's one thing that's kind of annoying about Victory Road. You not only have to have all the badges, but you have to like have Pokemon that have the HMs as well. How do I spell Elon Musk's son's name? I don't know, Grimes Jr. We already have a slowpoke, so we cannot do this. Yeah, I don't think I don't think the name is spellable. Marsh badge. Yes, we have the marsh badge. Okay. Welcome back, Riri. Ash, she's gonna walk right over you. You better get out her way. Riri, come here. Don't let that kitty cat block you. Y'all want to see what my roommate's cat looks like? Y'all basically never get to see Ash because she doesn't hang out with me, but she's in here. I can go pick her up. This is our other kitty that belongs to Jeff. Aw, uh, I remember our manky Rip Potato Loaf. What? Can't escape? That's ridiculous. <laughs> you know that child would not go to real school, okay? He will never be roll called in his life. They'll send him some kind of fancy schmancy private school thing. I guess I'll just kill you. Okay. Hey, Ash. Oh, now you run. Come on, Ray, you can come in. Yeah. Oh, that's actually what Ash looks like, but she bolted. 
As soon as I, like, bent down a little bit, she bolted. She doesn't want to be picked up. Volcano badge! Yes, I have the volcano badge. All right. Earth badge! Yes, I have the earth badge. We're gonna go, don't worry. Okay. <clears throat> Must name to Sunweird because they give his name priority alphanumerically. That's funny. <laughs> All right, so in here we can catch an Onyx, a Zubat, or a Marowak. Um, let's see who do we want to put in first. Let's do. Let's put Lord Oreo first, and we'll see what we catch. <clears throat> All right, so we gotta mess with this boulder right here. So we gotta push it down to a switch. Yes. So it's like this and like this. Oh, let's see what we get. An onyx! So this is our third time, I feel like, that we could have run into a super common Zubat, and we never do. We never do. So let's see if we can catch this onyx. Um, I'm kind of... I feel like I need to damage him a little. Like, I have Ultra Balls, but like... It's not going to get caught. It's level 43. So let's see if we get this guy. Oh, it's not very effective. Okay. Um, let's actually use Spark because it shouldn't be... Oh, it doesn't affect him at all. Okay. Yeah, Musk is crazy. So do y'all do y'all have theories or predictions about what's gonna happen with him buying Twitter? Um I really think that like absolutely nothing's gonna change. Here's my like kind of hot take on Musk buying Twitter. Uh Elon Musk actually doesn't want Twitter. And it's like this weird thing that he's done that he thought would never go through. And um now he's like surprised that he that his bid was accepted and he might actually buy Twitter. He has no interest in it. He just wanted to um, make headlines because he was lonely because, you know, as y'all know, Grimes left him for Chelsea Manning and that was probably like a big um, blow to his ego. More freedom of speech. I mean, I don't, there's really not a lot of against freedom of speech on Twitter right now. You know, I mean, you can get banned and stuff for saying certain things, but there's a lot of bullshit that goes on there that people don't get banned for, so, like, I don't know. Um, let's, let's yawn. Oh, shit. Oh, he's paralyzed. Hopefully Onyx will fall asleep. Well, he used to date Grimes, right? And that's, like, who his kids are with. Um, and then she left him. And now she's, um, she's dating that one lady. Um, shoot, I just had her name. And it left me. Uh, Manning. Chelsea Manning. If you don't know who Chelsea Manning is, basically they, um, were arrested for leaking a bunch of, like, military documents. So... I don't know if you think about that positively or negatively, but the reason why she got in the news for it, you know, as opposed to other people that, that don't get into the news for it, is because um, she's a trans woman, and when the allegations and all this first came out, she was still living as a man, and so then they had to move her to a women's prison. And, like, that's why... That's why she got in the news. <laughs> uh, let's try... I know that if I use strength, it's just going to kill him, so let's see if I use um i need to get his hp down a little bit more let's see if i use uh, maybe a shadow punch wouldn't do enough damage to kill him okay yeah 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 that's not too bad let's punch him again okay oh but he woke up that sucks yes that's right that would not affect teeth buzz all right, let's try an Ultra Ball now, see what happens. Okay, sweet. Was not really expecting to catch him. 
All right, guys, what do we need to name our onyx? The queue is out of names. Uh, yes, of course we're gonna give our onyx a nickname. All right, what should our rock snake lady be named? What do we think? Somebody send in a new name. Dump so bad he didn't announce it on his tweet. He brought the whole damn platform or sent a message. But that's the joke, right? I mean, it kind of feels correct. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's just, he's so, uh, <laughs> he's so, uh, uh, bothered that he had to buy all of Twitter. Jennifer. Okay. Okay. We can name her Jennifer. I like it. Jennifer. Okay. We're going to do two N's. I. Uh, there's the F E R. Yes, okay. Jennifer! Yeah, we got a snack lady. Okay, now we keep. Well, I think we have to activate strength again. Oh, it's already activated. Okay, so then we push it here. And then we're gonna push it up. And we keep pushing. There's the switch I was talking about. Like this. Oh. It is a nice name. I mean, we have a Pokemon named Caroline. We had a Haley, you know, once upon a time. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to use a Repel in here because I do not want to just be fighting a ton of battles. I still have a bunch of Repels, I hope. I hope, I hope. I have two max repels. Okay, well, we're gonna use them for now. Oh, here's a trainer. Let's see. Who do I have in front? Although she's paralyzed. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I went down way too far. My stuff's up here. Yes, there we go. Let's use a Paralyze Heal. Can't you walk behind the trainer? Oh, I can, but I want to fight it because I want to get that experience. I just wanted to check if my how my guys were looking before we fought them. Yeah, you totes can. I just don't want to. I've fought every trainer, I think, so far. Unless I accidentally missed them, but I've tried to fight every trainer. Because I really don't like to spend time um, leveling up or whatever. That's why I do that off stream, because I think it's just like so boring. Just fighting Pokemon over and over and over again, you know what I mean? So I do it off stream, and I like to minimize doing it as much as I can. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we got him, though. I mean, we're level 52. All of our guys are level 52. And we beat um, our rival so easily. So I don't think there's anybody in here that's going to give us trouble. What is my next level cap, though? I didn't make a note of it. Oh, it's 60. Level cap 60 now. Okay. I did make a note of it. It was just farther down. So we got quite a ways to go to even get close to the level cap for the Elite Four. I set it at 60 for myself. I don't know if that's what norm what people normally do when they're doing the trying to not overlevel. Um, but I've been trying to not overlevel this whole time, and so 60 is what I decided for the Elite Four. What? Caroline flinched. Caroline, don't flinch. There we go. There we go. Yeah. So yeah, if I if I didn't fight a trainer, it was like it was an accident. It wasn't intentional. I fought basically all of them. Nope, we're gonna do. Oh, thank you so much for following Nacho Josh. Welcome in, welcome in. Happy to have you here. Um, just to kind of let you know how I do on Thursdays, we stream from 6:30 to 8:30 Eastern time, and that is a variety stream. I like to play a lot of role-playing games, Pokemon as I'm playing right now, dating sims, um, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, and then on Saturdays we stream noon to two, and I do a um, I do a, a podcast style stream. And when we're not doing our podcast, we'll play 
uh, group games together, like we'll play Stardew Valley Among Us, things like that, we'll do a community day. So, yeah. All right. Hello! Welcome in, welcome in. Sorry it was loud for you, Koneko. <laughs> I have that one kind of loud on purpose. I love that noise. Um, and I, I love it being loud. Okay, I think you need to stay there. Yeah, I just go up this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see you're good. Let me see exactly how good. Oh, you have a Vaporeon wave. I feel like I knew that, but it's so cute, Koneko. I love it. <clears throat> Raticate. Okay, we'll get your Raticate, sir. A lot of noise too. I just feel obligated to call. Well, I do appreciate it um, because sometimes I don't intend it. Like you would let me know that my wow sound alert was way louder than the other sound alerts, which was definitely not intentional. So, <laughs> so it is helpful sometimes. But the follow alert, I like that noise. So I like to have it loud up. Uh, yes, I think I will because Oreo needs a heal. Um, let's see. Let's use. Let's use Moisty. <laughs> Two different Popcat emotes. I love Popcat. Is the cutest. See, Ri is in her normal position now. Um, like, right, right there. Like, laying right there. Under me. Super effective, yes. <clears throat> uh, War Turtle. Uh, no. Moisty can get War Turtle, too. That should be fine. You have the still frame one as well? Oh, awesome. <gasps> I love it! I need to get some animated emotes. I really, really do, but I've just, I've neglected it. I haven't done it. What? Why would you hyper potion, cool trainer Rolando? I thought you were cool! I guess not. Fooled me. Not so cool, trainer Rolando. God. Well, now you're a dead war turtle. Sorry, not sorry. Charmeleon. Uh, yes, I think I will. <laughs> I know, right? It's so wrong of him. He shouldn't do that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why propotion? That's right, that's right, Koneko. You know what I uh, what I realized? Oh my gosh, Koneko. Is there Is there an exclamation Koneko? There's not an exclamation Koneko. Koneko. We need to fix that. We need to you're here like every Thursday. You should have a command so that we can like announce you. Why have you never bought one? Smoke screen, that's rude. What? I can't believe Surf missed. Yeah, we do, we do. You should think about what you want it to be. I, I mean, I assume you have enough points. I really don't know. You, maybe you don't. Maybe you bought so many Pokemon names you don't have enough points. <laughs> oh, you forget the option exists. I see, I see. You know, I wish I could set it, set it so that, like, we could do a command that was, like, only certain people can even set this command off. Um, but I looked into how to do that, and it doesn't seem like it's possible. So I have not been able to figure that out. Uh, we're gonna have to, like, it's gonna block them if I, how do I get it? I, I have to just pick one, and then I'll have to come back later and get the other. All right, Dragon Claw. Sure, that's fine. Uh, 11k, okay. Well, that is enough. You can do it. <clears throat> Um, so I have to push it. Yeah, I have to push it down. Yes, I would like to use strength. Go 
gotta think of what I want the sound to be first, maybe, but I'm, tss, but I'm always punning on you. That's true, you are. <laughs> so that would be good. I hear this here is Victory Road. It's the final test for trainers. Skipped over the VIP function for the command, but interesting. Well, a lot of most of my friends have the command, and it kind of reminded me of it because Kendra earlier was looking at who all has commands, and she's another one of my friends that's in here like all the time and still doesn't have a command. So you know, don't worry, Blue. Come here often enough, and I'll start harassing you that you need to make a command too. Um, whether you want one or not, I'll make fun of you for not having one because all the cool kids and uh, my besties all have a command. There we go. I knew that would work. Okay. You have! You've been here, I think, like every stream since you started coming around. So. You've been very, very regular. If you have the 10k points, you should get a command. <laughs> you were. You did come to talk, hear us talk about Euphoria. <laughs> uh, yes, this is fine. We keep with Badger. Okay, I think the dog. The dog has like, been crazy today. I don't know what's going on. She's like panting like crazy really stressed out over something but I don't know what you know of all of her of all of her old lady things that's really her only weird old lady habit I would say is she gets stressed out over like I don't know what <laughs> like I don't I don't know how this happens it, it, she's stressed out over something that doesn't make any sense like she's got food she's been given water um, she's been uh, given her pill She's been taken outside, and then she like she acts like she's stressed and wants something. But I don't know what you want, girl. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you talk about Euphoria, maybe want to watch Degrassi. That was a great show. I remember when they had like the Degrassi New Generation. Um, I watched kind of a lot of that. I can't remember what channel it was on because I'm not in Canada, and but they started syndicating it in the U.S. on some channel that I can't remember. And, um, and I watched like the first few seasons of the new generation of Degrassi. That show was really good. I really enjoyed it. Come on, I'll whip ya. Okay. I should have bought more repels before coming here. Tamer Vincent was like, would like to battle. Go Teeth Fuzz. Will Shadow Ball. Oh, that's right, because he's normal type. Yeah, it didn't do much for super effective. Okay. Let's get out. Let's get out Lishy. Let's get out Lishy. Well, Blue, I will tell you, next, uh, this coming Saturday, we are going to have a uh, Sasha stream, which I don't think you know Sasha, because she's, she, she's only a guest sometimes. But anyway... Uh, she's really cool and funny, and we're going to talk about online community management, like um, things that you need to do when you're trying to lead an online space, like a forum or a Discord server or, you know, a subreddit, I guess it would apply to that. Um, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to run with a bunch of online people. We're going to show you all tips for hurting those cats. Uh, no, we can stay with the sheep. <laughs> he says no. He says you will deal with them. Whether we want to or not. Alright. Lishy's defense. Yeah, that doesn't matter though, because this gold duck's gonna die pretty quick. Oh no, don't confuse me. Don't confuse me. There we go. Taking my bachelor's in office systems, think this might be good for me. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Um, we're definitely talking more about online communities than like real life, but uh, but maybe. Um, you know, work is kind of online nowadays. In a lot of ways, it's crazy. Okay, there's another item over here. Yes, hail. I'm gonna try to fight all of these um, trainers and get all the items, and then I gotta look at my notes to see where I'm supposed to go, because it looks like there's multiple options here. <clears throat> Mr. Mime, 
You probably could. You can probably adapt some of this stuff, for sure. Uh, I can't remember. Ghost? Yeah, Ghost is good against Psychic, right? Let's see. Yes, okay. Yes, yes, yes. All right. We defeated Juggler Gregory. We fought this guy. I don't think I fought this guy up here. Oh, too many random battles. I would have a primate captured if I had not killed Potato Loaf. Yes, I wish to challenge the Elite Four. That's right. Walking around all afternoon on old shoes. New shoes are too new for all day walking and now my leggies hurt. Oh, where did you go, Koneko? Last time you went somewhere, it was like a um, theme park, and I was very, very jealous. So tell me. <clears throat> Alright, super effective. Alright. Uh, no, we can keep him. Oh, went shopping! Oh, fun! Shopping is something that I used to hate to do before the pandemic, but now it sounds like a super fun activity because you can go out and like actually be <laughs> among other people. <laughs> fun new 3D puzzles and also anti-slip socks with kitty toe beans. <gasps> oh, I love my anti-slip socks. Um, I have several pairs of those. Bombas, I think is the brand. Um, they are awesome. I love them. I never really got um, super into puzzles. I used to do some puzzles as uh, as a kid, and we did do a 3D one of Notre Dame one time. But um, but I've never done any other 3D puzzles. They always look super impressive. And I'm... Excuse me. I don't remember doing the Notre Dame one was um, really difficult. <laughs> well, Blue, that's how I feel too. But, you know, it's different when it's, like, your choice versus being forced. So... Uh, since we were forced for so long, shopping actually feels kind of fun. You know what I mean? Alright, got him too. Alright, so we're supposed to go... Yeah, here. And then to the one that's closest to us. Which I think there was one way over on the right. this one. Alright, so then this is floor three. I'm just looking at my notes for this floor. Because of course I don't know Victory Road the way I know other dungeons <laughs> in this game. <clears throat> Alright, we're just gonna fight some trainers I think for a second. Oh, you and partner are introvert. I see. Only really enjoy shopping if we have reason to be at the mall anyway, or if we're going together. Yes, that makes sense. I mean, there were certain shopping activities even before the pandemic that I used to really love. Like, um, we hadn't done it in a while, actually, but we used to go to um, the bookstore, like the Barnes & Noble, and that was really fun to browse. Mostly because they have they had a, like, um, it wasn't a Starbucks, but it was one of, like, that type of place, like, like a coffee cafe place inside there so we could get like a, a frappuccino and um oh he's gonna use a hyper potion so fucking rude um we could get a frappuccino and then like browse around you know what i'm saying so that was fun yes it is super effective okay die this time holy shit that did way too much damage that is uncomfortable uh, let's switch out to Kamir Lishi. Kamir Lishi. You're always good for it. Partner and I always go to our favorite bookstore. Our regular meetup spot is at the entrance of the bookstore. Yeah! Yeah, bookstores are fun. Bookstores are fun. Oh my word. Lishi, why are you confused? No! Oh. Okay, well he's still got 100 hit points. Let's try a fucking gin. Oh, and now he's gonna put him to sleep. Very cool. Cool of you. Love it. The thing is, is that Lishi can still... Um, oh no, he can snore. Well that, is that... 
It's confused and he's asleep. Fuck! Okay. Um, let's try. He's like almost dead. I guess let's try Moisty. Won't hurt him too bad. Okay. Wing attack. The trainers here are hard, you guys. This is annoying. God. Okay. There we go. Got him. Uh, no. We'll let Moisty get cloistered. My god, he still has so many Pokemon. Alright. Wing attack on the cloister. Should be good. No! That was not good. Oh my god. This trainer is giving me so much trouble. Okay, here we go. We are going to... Uh... Hyper Potion. We're gonna Hyper Potion Lishy. Yeah, I, but I didn't realize like it would make it be that bad as far as what it did. Oh no, he's gonna fucking kill Moisty. He's gonna fucking kill Moisty. <sighs> okay. Mm. Let's go Badger. I know you'd be hurt by spikes. We're gonna try to Psychic his Pokemon. Psychic's a really strong move, so... Uh, no, we'll stay. Okay. Well, he's using special attacks, so that shouldn't do anything. Nope, we're gonna stay with our- with Badger. He's good and strong. And fast. Alright, did he have one more? Yes, he did. Uh, yes. Because what if he explodes? Unless she's who can survive that. What? Okay. Well, let's use some awakening. I didn't mean to hit Snore. I meant to freaking hit... Yeah. Not what I meant. I meant to do Strength. There we go. Does Nuzlocke have a specific definition, or you just decide your own parameters? I've only played casually. Oh, so there are official Nuzlocke rules. So the official Nuzlocke rules, and like why I got really quiet there, because I got kind of nervous he was going to kill one of my Pokemon, is um, whenever the Pokemon faints, it's considered dead. So like I have a, a dead box in the PC of all the Pokemon I have killed. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, um, that is basically, that's basically how, that's the, that's basically like the main rule of a Nuzlocke that people will follow. Uh, also you're supposed to name all of your Pokemon. So a lot of people do that. I have named all of my Pokemon. Um, and then I also use a species clause, which basically means that I'm not going to try to catch multiple of the same species. And the way catching works in a Nuzlocke is the first Pokemon you encounter in like an area or on a route or whatever, that's the one you have to keep and you're not supposed to keep any other Pokemon. So if you accidentally kill that Pokemon or you miss catching it or whatever, 
then um, then you don't you just don't get a Pokemon that route. So it like artificially reduces the number of Pokemon that you have, and it makes you more attached to the Pokemon you have because. Um, if you're not careful, you don't get to use them anymore. <laughs> and then people will modify from there. Like, there's, like, more hardcore Nuzlocks and, um, things of that nature. Uh, so it can get more difficult. But I've never done a Nuzlocke before. This is my very first one. So, um, yeah. Uh, it was pretty easy up until Sabrina. Be only because I know this, this particular Pokemon very, very well. <clears throat> so, <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to go get this item. Yep, got TM50. I see another trainer we can fight up there. We just I think I just healed everybody up, but let me just look how we're doing. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. <clears throat> Yeah, one mon per root plus permadeath rules are standard and everything else is optional, yes. Oh, a lot of people also do shiny clauses, like if they find a shiny they get to catch it, regardless of anything, any other rules. Um, just because if they really love shinies they don't want to miss out on shinies, but we haven't seen a shiny this run and I don't expect to see any shinies, so. Oh, yeah, because he's fairy. Cosmic power. Oh, defense. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's just use Lishy. Should be good. And there are, there's, like, people that will do hardcore Nuzlocks, which means, like, you're only allowed to use items um, outside of battle. You can't use items inside, so basically, like, you can't use potions and stuff in a battle. Um, so you'll see a lot of people doing hardcore Nuzlocks. People also will do, like, mono locks, where it's, like, it's a Nuzlocke, but they're only allowed to catch one, like, type of Pokemon. Like, they'll do, like, a water mono lock or, or a normal mono lock or whatever and they can only have that type of pokemon um there's all kinds of crazy rules that people will do in regards to nuzlocks but i'm because i've never done one i'm just trying to do like the most standard easy and um all of that stuff you know i didn't want to like overwhelm myself with too many rules that i knew i wouldn't want to follow anyway <laughs> Uh, shiny Claws also beats any other claws. Yes, that's true. That's true. It trumps everything. So if you really love shinies, you can go ahead and catch that shiny. Uh, no, we're going to keep Lishy. That's fine. Lishy can just stay. There's only um, three floors in here, by the way. So this was, this one that we're on is the top floor. It's just that you have to like do this boulder puzzle I've been doing to like get to the end of this area. No, not a full restore. Rude. My gosh. That was dumb. You're not going to get any coins from me because you're going to lose. Yes. Uh, Dugong? No, we can keep Lishy, it's fine. So yeah, that's a Nuzlocke. Um, I don't know the other Pokemon games nearly as well as this one. I know Gen 5 kind of well, so I don't know. I, after we get this game, I have to think about, like, what do we want to do next? You know what I mean? Like, what game do we want to play next? I know that before we do anything else, I need to we need to go back and finish all of the post-game and optional bosses and things like that in Final Fantasy X, or at least try to. So I know that's something I'd like to do, but like after that, I'm a little unsure. I'm a little unsure what game we should play as our like, you know, main game that we're normally going through on this stream. As a kid, I had a hard enough time with the whole strategizing thing, so permanent death would have been a real handicap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely like a way to make um, Pokemon more interesting for an adult, and that's definitely worked for me. Um, because as an adult, Pokemon is like, it's just really fucking easy, you know what I mean? It's just really easy. <sighs> uh, um, so let's see. An attack that can be used only while asleep. Do I want... Do I want Hyper? I mean, it's 150, but it's only 5 PP. And I can't get rid of Strength, so I'd have to get rid of Yawn, Rest, or Snore. Snore's only 40. Maybe I should do that and then just dump 
uh, dump some items into it to increase the amount of PP, because I think it can go up to like 8 or 9 or something like that. I think I'll get rid of Snore, because I mean, I'm not going to use a 40 power move unless I have to. It's so low for this late in the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. I know the recharge sucks, but Lishy's super bulky, so I think on him, I want it. Over Snore. Mm, yes, because you ran out of strength. And, like, Lishy has strength if he needs to move faster. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Never played Gen 3, only Gen 1. Didn't hear they made the remake slightly easier. So, in regards to this one versus the original Red and Blue, like, yes, they kind of. Um, it's more balanced, and it doesn't have, like, the, a lot of the broken AI stuff that the very first generation has. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily easier or harder. It's definitely, like, easier to figure out how it's supposed to work. Um, because I don't know how much of the, how many times you played the first gen, but if you played it several times, you started to notice, like, a lot of jank. <laughs> a lot of jank. And there's not really any jank in, uh, in the fire red leaf green, so that's kind of the difference. And I definitely think for streaming, so the, for streaming, the reason why I chose this one is pure aesthetics is literally just, like, this game is prettier. And so I think it's uh, more fun for viewers <laughs> than the original um, red and blue. Did I use all my awakenings? I think I did. Okay. So we'll use a full heal. They got rid of some possible soft locks too, which is fun. Yes, exactly. Yeah, they just kind of like, it like got all polished up. You know, it, it when it matches the complexity of the way the Pokemon work in Gen 3 and removed a lot of the jank from the original Gen 1. So, that's basically the difference. I mean, it's really, it's really the same game. It's really not that different. But, um, but yeah. <clears throat> Chansey, stop healing. Holy fuck. Do not regain any more health. I'm telling you. Oh, I missed. Oh, and he's gonna put me to sleep again. Amazing. Okay, I need somebody that can hit harder. Let's see, come here, Badger. Rip the one out of 256 glitch. <laughs> you will not be missed. <laughs> oh man, oh man. As a kid though, I used the hell out of the missing no glitch. Um, to, like, totally cheese. Um, oh, is Chansey part fairy type too? Hey, Psychic really didn't do anything. How much does Headbutt do? It missed, so that's cool. And he's gonna heal again. Oh my god. Who do I have that can hit hard enough? Oh my god, and he's, like, all the way back. Who can hit? Who can hit? Um, let's try the Shadow Punch. Um, teeth fuzz. <sighs> Minimize. Oh my god, my, the bane of my existence. Uh, let's try a shadow ball. Oh, it doesn't affect him because he's normal! Oh, that's right, fairy doesn't exist. He's just normal. He's just normal type. My god. What am I gonna do? I guess I'll go back. I guess I'll go to Lord Oreo. Maybe I should use Hyper Beam on him. I just got it. Oh, and he keeps minimizing. My god. Yeah, I mean, everybody's gonna keep missing now. But I think he used all of his soft boils. Mmm, <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's see. Swift, maybe? It has a 5 base defense, so you should hit it with a physical move. Okay. Well, that would be why Swift did so much. Thank you, Kaneko. So that confirms that. I should keep using Swift. Shouldn't even try anything else. Between the minimize and the low physical stat, there we go. Thank you. Thank you for confirming that, Kaneko. Save me from a long-ass battle. <laughs> uh, Teeth Buzz is trying to use, learn Nightmare. Um, let's see. Do we want that? A sleeping foe has shown a nightmare that inflicts some damage every turn. Yep, I didn't keep the thing to... Yeah, no, we don't want that. We don't want that. 
Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't care about that. Okay. Um, as a kid, I asked my mom to take me to the mall where they were hosting a tournament, but I just wanted the free Mew they were giving out. Learned a couple months later there was a glitch to get Mew. Yup! Uh, I remember that. I remember that. <laughs> I did, We didn't have a tournament close to me in my area to get it, but I do remember that being a thing. Okay. Um, let's see. I probably need to potion some peeps. Yeah, get a potion, Lichie. And you too, Badger. Alright, and then we'll do... Um... Ice heal, full heal. Okay. Why do I have a max revive? I don't need a revive. This is a Nuzlocke, I can't revive them anyways. <clears throat> All right. Who's next? Okay, I fought him. Fought her. Can't go down that way. Let's go down this way. Oh, this is another part of floor two. Okay. Guards back. Yes, I do want that. If you can get through here, you can go meet the Elite Four. Yes, I know. That's why I'm here. Pokemaniac Dawson! Go, Teeth Fuzz! <clears throat> Do you guys remember what used to be in this little spot right here? This little spot right here... This little enclave used to be where Moltres was. Back in the day. Back in the actual red and blue. But now Moltres is not there. Moltres is in a totally different spot. Our Moltres is in another castle. Uh, no, we can use Teeth Fuzz for Lapras too. I think it's fine. But yeah, Josh, if you love Pokemon and um, you have not played much as an adult, playing it as a Nuzlocke might be something that you're interested in because um, it makes it it makes it much more challenging and much more interesting. You know, when your Pokemon can actually die. Moltres got tri tired of all the trainers wandering into its house. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. I got tired of that. Decided, no more. Uh, Lickitung. Yes, because he's normal type. So let's get Lishy out. Yeah, too many people going through there on the way to Elite Four. Moltres said, bye bitches, I'm going elsewhere. And he did. Oh yeah, he doesn't have any strength. That's okay, we can use a Hyper Beam. I think it'll Oko it. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Uh, yes. I already thought I already put you on the. Are we back on the first? We're back in the first area. Yes, yes, that's fine. Oh no, this is the second floor. A wild Golbat appears. Okay, I know where I am now. We need to go back to the third floor. Oh my god, there's so many things. I'm considering doing Nuzlocke on Gen 4 soonish, but I don't know what rules I want to use. Oh yeah! I definitely encourage you, Neko. Um, Koneko. It's been, it's been super fun. It's been super fun and surprising, you know? So I think you should try it. I'm feeling like so nervous, you guys. Okay. I'm gonna be annoying. <laughs> 
I'm gonna be annoying and um, <laughs> and run back and heal up and uh, get some repels because I think that it would be oh my god I think that it would be more annoying to get all these random encounters than to uh, run back I think that's less annoying so let's go do that oh my god so many random encounters. I'm just trying to get outside so I can fly away. Because this is a dungeon, so I cannot fly in here. Come on. There we go. All right. You have an escape rope? Oh, I did have an escape rope. I could have used that. You're right, Koneko. Gosh, I forgot I had some. All right, we're going to heal up. We're going to buy some repels. And then we're going to go back in there and do some more. Yes, I would like to heal. Thank you. Thank you for waiting. We hope to see you again. I'm sure that you do. Yep, let's buy. Oh, that's right. I have to actually go to one of the later. <laughs> the shops don't just upgrade, it's like where you are. Um, okay. Come on, Moisty. Let's fly to Cinnabar. There we go. Uh, we'll get like, whoa, I can buy 99 of them things. I don't need 99. We'll get like, we'll get 11. That's overkill, but still. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Uh, we're gonna sell that max revive because that is pointless for us uh let's see where are we at on actually let's just buy like a ton of potions and stuff yes we're so flush it like so doesn't matter yes all right let's fly back We gotta run through the stupid thing again. <laughs> Cause I got too nervous to actually finish Victory Road and unlock the next Poké Center. Sorry, you guys. <sighs> I was nervous about my mons and I just felt like I needed some repels. So that's my bad for not buying them at the top of the stream. I should have. I knew I didn't have very many, but you know. At least they don't talk to you every time again. They recognize you. So that's nice. Yes, I would like to surf. <clears throat> I guess I can go ahead and put on a repel now. There's no reason to wait. All the way at the freaking bottom. There we go. The person who runs back between every two battles when I'm grinding. <laughs> so I'm, I know the feel. Yeah. And I, I'll be more, um, you know, like that, like anal like that if I'm playing by myself. But if I'm playing for you guys, like, I want it to at least be interesting. Like, I, I just think, like, the way I think about it is, like, if I was watching this and thought it was boring, you know, what would, what do other people think? Oh wait, that's not going to do anything. I probably have to start. Yeah, I have to start it over. Okay. Come here. So we push this boulder. 
down, then across. We'll do it this time without fighting trainers, because of course it's not going to make me redo that. And that's going to knock down that wall up there. Oh, we can get the other item this time, I think. Yes. Uh, so we needed to come back anyways. Rare candy! Yes. Love that. Don't worry, I have lots now. So, yeah. All right. Yes. All right. Next wall is down. I've already fought you. And you. And you. Oh, and then I went up here. Okay. Okay, and then there's trainers here that I haven't fought. All right. I think, no, I fought her. Oh, there's another thing. Okay, I can't do anything with that boulder. Can I do anything with that boulder? No. Well, dang, one more step <laughs> from the <laughs> from the encounter. <laughs> okay, run. Yes. All right. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. Okay. Okay. Okay, here's what I gotta do. I had to look at my notes real quick, but... And catch up from where I was, but it is this boulder. It is this boulder that's next. Move it all the way over here. One tile at a time. <laughs> as slow as possible. Oh, something got me through my repel. A machop? That's wrong. Maybe I didn't put another repel back on. I don't... Things aren't getting me through it, are they? Level 32 things when I'm in the 50s? Let me put on another one, just in case. Yes, I do want to use my repel. Okay. Okay, and that should fix where I was blocked. So I can come up here, go around. Yeah, so now I can get through here. We've got these two guys. <clears throat> but yeah, Koneko, I'm totally a player like that when I'm by myself. When I'm playing games by myself, I like I will do like all kinds of annoying things like that. <laughs> um, it reminds me, I've been playing a lot of uh, Final Fantasy XII lately. So when Final Fantasy XII first came out, um, I played like maybe the first six hours of that game and I got so super annoyed at having to like do the licenses for being able to put on certain armor and weapons. I thought that was just the dumbest thing in the world. Um, but I am giving it another try with the Zodiac Age version that came out, I guess, a few years ago now, several years ago. I don't know. It came out a while ago. Um, and it works, it works the same way as far as you still have to spend the license points to be able to put on armor and weapons, but there's like, there's like a class system. Anyway, it's kind of cool, and um, so I've been playing that, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm gonna try to actually get through the story, because when I've seen, like, Let's Plays of it, I do enjoy the story. It is like, it is like a Final Fantasy person was like, I want to make my own Star Wars with gambits and Vieras, and so, you know, I like that energy. That's good energy. So I've been playing a lot of that. 
Whew. I don't like that bite. I don't like that bite. I don't know why you're not using water moves, though, considering. Oh no, a fucking hyper potion, of course. <clears throat> All right, rain continues to fall. <clears throat> oh my god. Dislike. But he's gonna die now, and then I'll switch to another one. Uh, yes. Heath Fuzz has way too many. Oh, let's do... Let's do Lishy. Hey, kitty! I like that entrance. I like that entrance with Sunder there. Thank you, thank you. We're going through Victory Road, so these trainers are quite a lot harder. I already got scared and left in the middle. I don't know if you were here for that. I just did that. I left in the middle to go get more repels and to, um... And to, uh, paralyze him. Um, heal everybody, because I was nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going through Victory Road and fighting all these trainers before the Elite Four. Alright. Yes. Uh, Tentacruel. Well, yeah, because he's paralyzed now. So we'll switch over to Moisty. What have you been up to, Kitty? By the by. Oh, I've got... I've got some cheesecake here. I'll take. I'll show you, Kitty. Take a bite. It's supposedly from Junior's Bakery in New York. I mean, it's not though. It's from my deli down the street. But they, apparently, they ordered it from Junior's. They had like a lot of Junior's like desserts and stuff. So you can see. Mm-hmm. Tastes like it. So you know. I can't complain. I think they're telling the truth. Who's at my middle child softball game, waiting to pick her up from the team bus now. Oh, fun! Did they win? I hope they won. Oh, I love cheesecake too. I so feel you on that. No, we'll keep moisty for Cedra. Mmm. That was rude of you, Cedra, using that poison point on me. But this other wing attack should kill you. No! Oh, I know he's almost dead, but I scared. I scared, so we're going to go to... Um... Lord Oreo. They didn't win, but they were good at... But they were so good at being happy just to play, so I love that. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I guess you can't win them all, huh? <laughs> But I'm glad they had fun. That's good, of course. And your middle middle uh, child likes it. They like um, playing softball. It's like a good sport for them. Gotta play it safe. Yes, I do have to play it safe with the Poke Babies. Oh my gosh! And these guys are way harder. So like, I'm scared. You know, <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> uh... All right, let's get a um, full heal on both Lishy and Moisty. I never got into sports as a kid. Um, I thought I w could try um, volleyball at one point in time, but I was very, very bad at it. I can't remember if I ever tried softball. I might have, but I don't remember doing so. Um, but I don't think I would have been good at it anyways, because I was never any good and we would just play, you know, in gym class or whatever. <laughs> Excuse me, so I don't know why that would be any different on, like, a team. I think they just like to sign up for anything, their social butterfly. Oh, that's good for them. Good for them. That makes life easier. <laughs> so that's nice. You know? Couldn't be me. <laughs> All right, let's fight this girl. 
think we're almost done with all the trainers here, and then it's just finishing the puzzle. And they have so many Pokemon. Like, look at how many freaking Pokemon this girl has. There's too many Pokemon for, like, a trainer and multiple trainers in a row. You know what I mean? Did you like... Yeah, I liked volleyball. I mean, that's why I tried out. It just... I wasn't any good at it. So, um, I guess we actually had enough girls that were good, and so I didn't... I didn't make the team or anything. But I enjoyed it. Um, it was fun. You didn't have to run too, too much, so I felt like I didn't have to be fast or anything. I just had to, like, have good aim, which I was a bit better at. So... Um, I enjoyed it. But yeah, I was not actually, like, good. I was just better at that sport than other sports. But I was bad at all sports, so... You get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. <laughs> My best sport was still... I was still bad. <laughs> uh, yes, because Teeth Fuzz is paralyzed now, so let's go to Moisty. Uh, yep, wing attack. Yay, level up for Moisty. Uh, no, you can get that one too. Oh man, almost Oko. Oh, don't you stun me, don't you stun me. Oh, and you're gonna try to acid now too. Okay, fabulous. Uh, okay, come on. Oh no, he's not. Yeah, he's paralyzed because the acid wasn't going to make poison happen if paral paralysis was already there. Oh, but now he's going to get poison, so that's great. Oh, no? Okay. Um, I tried out for a cheer dance hybrid thing once, and I found out that what, that even if my love depending on following the rhythm, I would die. I cannot. Oh, life depended on it. Um, yeah, I, I had pretty good rhythm, and I remember when I was, um, when I was, like, maybe towards the end of elementary school, beginning of middle school age-ish, I went to like a cheer dance camp thing um, and I think the way that it went is if the older girls like the high school age girls that were teaching it thought you were good they would invite you um, but I think the reality is is like if they thought you like had the right look they would invite you what I'm saying is I didn't get invited <laughs> but I don't think I did too badly at that one but I didn't get the invite afterwards, so, you know, maybe I was terrible and I just didn't know it. But it was fun. It was really more like for a summer camp, right? Like, the goal was not to get that invite. It was just more like for fun. Okay, this one goes down the hole, and then I go after it. And then, was this right? Yes. I think this is what I'm supposed to do. Yes. I put this boulder on this switch. Alright. I'm looking at my notes again so I can make sure I know where I'm supposed to go after this. Um... Yes, okay, that opens up this ladder. All right, now I've got two more trainers. Hello, welcome in, Cola Cat. How's it going? I love cats. We have four at my house. None of them are visiting me right now. They're elsewhere, but normally we have a kitty cat or two um, in the room with me. Oh, this is a double battle. Oh, but they only each have one. Okay, good, good, good. Not too bad then. I used to dance first classical ballet, then modern dance. But then horse riding lessons started being at the same time as dance, and I had to choose one, and I picked horses. Oh, I understand. I understand. That makes a lot of sense. <clears throat> Let's see. K. 
cats. Yes, kitty. Yes, kitty. Exactly. You can't poison him. He's paralyzed, so. <laughs> oh, no. That's not good. I should have cured his paralysis before starting this battle, but oh well, I did not. At least they don't have, like, five Pokemon or something crazy, like all these other trainers have been. Alright, we're going to Shadow Ball you, and we are going to also... Let's use Fly. Cats for cats, that's right. I almost got to show Ash on screen, but as I was bending down to pick her up, she bolted. You'll never get to see Ash, unfortunately. Jeff's kitty cat. How many cats do we have in the stream right now? I'm here, kitty's here, cola cat's here. Oh, true! Plus we got these, so obviously I count as a kitty cat. Um, <laughs> so many cool cats. <clears throat> so many cool cats. All right, that's not too bad. I do need to heal up those guys though. Let's cure their status conditions. All right, let's do, yeah. Mm -hmm. Full heal. Okay, they're all cured up. <laughs> I think you might be too far away from the mic for you guys to hear, but Levi just walked in and he goes, Excuse me, out. <laughs> Hi. How was the junior? It's really good. It's, it really does taste like juniors. Like, I'm amazed. Bye, meow. Bye, meow. See you later. <laughs> um, okay, I think I'm supposed to go down here. Next. I guess that's another kitty we have. Levi Kitty. Let's see. Where are our Pokemons at? Okay. I don't think... I think I want to switch to Oreo because Teeth Fuzz, he's got a, he's got enough levels now. Oh no, I must have already, did I? You should be proud of yourself, having battled your way through Victory Road so courageously. In recognition of your first feat, I'll teach you Double Edge. Oh, that's why he didn't want to fight me because he's a move tutor. I lost my run on Volt White Nuzlocke to an optional trainer. But on my new attempt, I got a female starter, which is Pog. Hell yeah, that is good omens for that run, cat. I think you're going to do it. This is my first ever Nuzlocke, so I really don't know anything. Oh, there's a cat. Lady heard us talking about cats. Here we go. You guys can get a good look at Lady since we've got some new people. This is Lady. She's my little one-year-old. Um, she was an oops baby. We have um, five fur babies. Three were planned fur babies, and two were oops fur babies. Lady's one of our oops fur babies. So... And she loves me very, very much. Oh, wait. No, I am supposed to run through here. There we go. Wow, Indigo Plateau, you guys. <gasps> we made it. Okay, I really have to pee. So um, I'll let y'all bask in this moment of Indigo Plateau. I'll be back in like two seconds. I pee really fast, new guys, so just give me a second. Thank you for keeping everyone entertained while I was gone, Kitty. I appreciate it. <laughs> a partner got a female lit in first time playing Pokemon Ultra Moon, and I was like, wow. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. All right, you guys. We made it. Oh, my God. Can you believe it? We made it to... We made it to the Elite Four. Will we actually beat the Elite Four? That is a big question. Um, it's 8 o'clock. We have 30 minutes left in the stream. Definitely don't have time to actually fight the Elite Four. Um, yo, champ in the making. At the Pokemon League, you'll face the Elite Four in all the rooms. If you lose, you have to start all over again. This is it. Go for it. 
I scared. I scared. This guy is shop. You can buy things. See, many things to buy. Um. Oh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. See ya. Okay. From here on, you face the Elite Four one by one. If you win, the next the door opens to the next trainer. Good luck. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do instead. We're gonna go do the little quick side quest on the one, two, and three island. I think I can do that in the 30 minutes we have left in my normal stream time. So let's find out. All right, fly us back to Cinnabar, Moisty. See, I can go straight to, I can straight, go straight up there. We don't have to do Victory Road again. Also, she got Shell Armor as an ability which prevents her from being crit. What? No crits on your Nuzlocke? Cheats. Cheats. That is too good. That's too good. Oh my gosh. Okay. So here we go. Bill, hey, you kept me waiting. Ready to set sail for one island. Well, that's it. Let's go. Y'all remember he tried to get us to come with him after the gym here, but we said, nah, later. Well, we're going to go now. And the reason why I said no is because once you go here, you're kind of stuck here until you finish the little quest. So um, we're just going to go do the little quest. I'm a little cold, but I don't want to move and get another blanket. And I know I should be sleeping, but I have a bad week, so I have a late night as a treat. I understand, Koneko. You should, um, you should yell across the house, Partner, bring blankets! Uh, he's in charge of the island's PC network all by his lonesome. Why am I telling you this now? Let's just go see Cilio. Okay, let's go see Cilio. Hey there, Cilio. Bill, I can't believe you came out here. Well, absolutely. How's your research coming along? Oh, wait a sec. Karen, this is my buddy Cilio. He's one dedicated PC maniac. Cilio, this is Karen, a rising contender as the Pokemon champ. That's really impressive. I hate to say it, but I have zero aptitude for battling. Anyways, I'm glad to meet you. So, bring me up to speed. How's your machine running? It's running fine, but we're too remote out here. The PCs on this island just can't link with your PC, Bill. Oh yeah? Let me take a look-see. Hang on there. I think we can make it work. Let me help you, okay? Karen, can I get you to wait for just a bit? Actually, can I get you to do me a favor? The island next to this one's called Two Island. There's a guy there that runs the game corner. He has this thing for rare rocks and gems. We keep in touch, being fellow maniacs. So can I get you to deliver this meteorite to him? Yes, I can. Don't worry, Bill. I'm on the case. Karen, if you're going to Two Island, please take this. The Tri-Pass! Okay, so we can get to one, two, and three island with the Tri-Pass. The pass is for a ferry service, the local islands. It will let you travel between islands one, two, and three. Oh, and you should have this too. Yay, I got a map. Unfortunately, I don't live with my partner. I live. Oh, that's right. I knew that, Koneko. Um, so partner cannot bring you blankets. Next week, I'll be on vacation with my partner, though. We'll make sure that they bring you blankets. <laughs> it's important. <clears throat> Ahoy there, where do you want to go? Okay, we want to go to... Two Island. And then we're going over to the game corner. Do I have to? No, it's up here. I was like, do I have to cut to get there? I don't think so. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Now, where's Lostel gotten today? She always brings me lunch every day right about now. Hmm, you there. Are you a friend of Lostel's? Have you seen Lostel around? I don't know where she might be. She should have been here long ago. Lostel's a cutie. She's got my looks. So what if someone... What if something's happened to my Lostel? Please help me find her. Go search Three Island. Ha! What is this, the game corner? How much sadder can this get? Those clowns. They said they'd be waiting on the island, so where are they? Hey, you. Is this the only Three Island around here? Try waking up before you crawl out of your bed, you punk. This is Two Island. Move it. Get your filthy motorbike out of my place. Huh. Oh. Oh, gotcha. Shh. These islands are confusing. <laughs> Would you look at that? That punk scuffed my floor. Wow, he just left. He, he just he just left. <laughs> okay, let's go to Three Island. We're gonna find Lustel. I have a favorite blanket that no one else can touch. It's perfect. I understand. I don't really have a blanket that no one else is allowed to touch, but I definitely have, like, my favorite blankets. Um, I have one... I like those, um, those, like, fleece kind of blankets. I have one for the couch, and I have one for the bed, you know? <clears throat> but I love blankets. They're the best. 
Oh, what is this? Hey, who are you? I'll call the police. Hey, hey, lady, fork over the spending money. What? Why don't you battle me? We're the Kanto Rider Federation. Vroom, va, 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 vroom. My bike's wimpy, so I have to make the exhaust noises myself. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Okay. Alright. Oh, what's going on? Are you the boss? Go back to Kanto right now. Ha! I just got here, pal. What's with the hostile attitude? It's mighty cold of you. Your gang of followers have been wreaking havoc with those bikes. Do you have any idea how much trouble they've caused us on the island? No, man, I don't get it at all. Look at this place. What do you do for entertainment? You ought to be thanking us for livening up this sleepy village. But hey, if you insist, you can try making us leave. Er, you cowards, so tough in a pack. You, what are you staring at? Don't you know it's not polite? You want to make something of it or what? Yeah! Hey, I like your guts. You'll be losing money to me, but... Yeah, right, my dude. Yeah, right. BMX kids. They are totally BMX kids. These guys are 100% BMX kids. I always must sit with Blanky for ultimate comfort, which gets annoying in the summer. I 100% understand Kaneko. Blankets are the best. We keep our house pretty cold, though, so it's not a huge deal. But, um, but I love blankets. I'd rather it be cold and use a blanket. You know what I mean? The, my ultimate accurate temperature the, that I think the house should be when I'm in the living room, like on the couch or in the bed, like where I can have a blanket, is totally different than um, like when I'm sitting at my desk and I can't really easily have a blanket. Uh, no, we can keep with Oreo, it's fine. Yeah, these guys should be easy to beat since the levels are so much lower. Because normally, they assume you would come here after beating Cinnabar's gym, so before you even have all the badges. What? Well, what is this, kid? Yep. I'm your worst nightmare. Oh! I finally watched the new Batman! Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. It was so good. <laughs> um, I have to say the boys didn't really like it, but I really enjoyed it! I, uh, I am here for this particular interpretation of the Riddler. I think he was fantastic. Um, man, he did all that with 500 followers. You know, I'm just saying. Like, I got a few more than that. Um, on YouTube anyway. So, like, what are we doing, you guys? You want to do something? Because he did all that with 500. He did all that with 500. Imagine. Just imagine what we could do. The, the possibilities are endless. What? How many of these guys do I have to fight? Thin blanky for summer. I have long skirts I can wear when it's really hot to trick my brain into thinking I have a blanky. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That does work pretty well, Kuneko. I understand. <clears throat> it's a good idea. <clears throat> Bye, Biker Goon. Boss, I'm telling you, you've got to do something about this kid. Oh, you too? Okay. Alright, alright, alright. I battle you. Grimer's still a fave. <laughs> Grime, these like um, coughing, wheezing, Grimer, Muck. I'm still mad about that one that took us forever to beat because of stupid minimize. Hate it. Hate him. Uh, no. Lord Oreo can keep going. Yeah, see, he's too bulky, and then they minimize, and it's so annoying. Hate it. Alright, let's do... 
Um, let's get Lishy out here. Lord Oreo, come back. Do it, Lishy. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, and then they're gone! Magic. Thank you, those goons were nothing but bad trouble. Oh look, your Pokemon got hurt on my account. Oh, that's nice. You've got seriously impressive Pokemon with you. It'd be fantastic if someone as strong as you lived here. I hope you'll at least stay a while. I beg your pardon? You're looking for Lustel? Lustel went off towards Bond Bridge a while ago. Oh, okay. Oh, let's cure that poison. Mm -hmm. Yes, let's get some heals. I think it's up this way I'm supposed to go. Yes, Bond Bridge. There we go. Oh, Bond Bridge. James Bond Bridge. That's right. <laughs> All right, let's get out our repels. We'll teach you what our favorite Pokemon is. Oh, show me. Show me, kids. What's your favorite? Oh, Clefairy. Okay. <laughs> Go, Lord Oreo and Moisty. Alright, we're gonna... Oh, if you, if you Swift, it's both of them. Okay. And then we'll wing attack. Swift really did not do much. Oh, spikes! How annoying. That's okay, we're not gonna switch out. We're just gonna kill him. And if I um, know right what's here, I know we saw the bell sprout, which I couldn't catch regardless because of species claws, but I don't think there's anything I can catch on the Bond Bridge area. <clears throat> I think I have everything here, if I remember correctly what's here. I think the only thing I can catch um, in the areas of the islands that we're going to for, for this little side quest thing is when we get to Berry Forest, I can get an execute. I think that's the only thing. So we'll see if we see an execute. Nope, we're just gonna keep getting them with Lord Oreo. But it's okay. It's more than effective enough. Because he's only level 36. And there's a few more trainers along here before we actually get into the berry forest. <laughs> she just has all kinds of Bulbasaur, Ivysaur. No Venusaur, though, I guess. She could have one with her levels. Maybe one of her Ivysaurs is about to level up soon. <laughs> Lord Oreo, no relation to Karen's Oreo. I think Kay chose that name specifically because um, she, well, Kay put the name Lord Oreo in the queue because she loves Oreo. And then I chose Voltorb for that name because he has, you know, the two colors. So I thought that was good. 
Oh no, he's too asleep. Okay. I'm gonna use my Steve. <laughs> Excuse me. So, like, yes and no. Um, Kay loves Oreo, so of course she wanted one of the Pokemon to be named Oreo. Is Oreo here? Oreo not here. Oreo probably, like, doing his own thing at this point in the day. If he was in here, he'd be sleeping. Alright, she done. Goodbye. I do like the sprite for those, for the Aroma ladies, though. That's really nice sprite. Yay, yay, Pokemon! Me too, kid, me too. That's how I feel. Yay, yay, Pokemon! Tuber Alexis. Wow, she has a lot of Pokemon. I think they're all waters, so I can just... Oh, wait. I didn't wake him, wake him back up. My gosh, I have too many items. Okay, um... Full heal. There we go. Now he's not sleepy. Nope, 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 nope. I wanted to use Spark. Super effective. I think that can do that to all of her Pokemon. Mm, no. Yay, another level up. Uh, no. We are definitely not learning Explosion. Um, well, no, it's not self-destruct. Let's, let's look at it. Does it do what I think it does? Oh, it's only a five move. The user explodes to inflict terrible damage even while fainting itself. Okay, it is another fainting itself one. Yes, I don't want that. That is pointless for me. No. Super pointless. Yay! No, we're gonna do the spark again. Boom! That's right. My mommy says I can't swim without my float ring. Alright, Poliwag. I've used so many sparks, I'm running out. I think that lady that was over there to the side was the is the last um is the last trainer in this area and then we can go to Berry Forest. All right, last trainer. The salty tang of the sea it tickles my heart. <laughs> Aroma Lady Nikki would like to battle. Yeah, well, it's not very effective, but it got an Oko. Yeah, let's go ahead and get Moisty for these grass types.
Here we go, Berry Forest. So this is where Lostel supposedly is. So let's see if we can find her. Oh, I want to make sure that my... I want to make sure my Max Repel is up. I think there's just like Viridian Forest, there's like items around here. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, I don't have my cutter. Oops. Moisty's bird flourish almost could be a fancy goat horns. Oh, you're right, kitty. You're right. I like that. Because he has the little, the little headdress. Max Ether. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. The little, like, head crest feather thingies. Yes, let's surf. Oh, there she is. Whimper Sniff. Oh, please help. A scary Pokemon appeared here a little while ago. It kept scaring. It made Lostel scared. I'm too scared to move, but I want to go home. Oh, here it comes again. Go away. Why? I want my daddy. And it is a Hypno. <laughs> um, so apparently in the lore, there's like lore about Hypno stealing children. So that's that's why this is a Hypno, as opposed to a uh, scarier looking Pokemon. <clears throat> Bye, Hypno. No worries, Lestelle. I took care of him. Oh, that was so scary. Thank you. Lestelle came to pick up some berries. You can have this. Thank you. What's your name? Lestelle's scared, so can I go with you to my daddy's house? Okay, let's go home. So you rescued Lestelle? How can I thank you? Lestelle, darling, forgive me. Daddy didn't know you were scared and in trouble. It's okay, Daddy. I gotta be friends with Karen. Yeah, listen, listen. Please show me you being cool again. <laughs> oh, what's that? You're saying this in it for me? How did you know that I love rare rocks and gems? You sure know how to make a guy happy. There you go. Give him the meteorite. Finally. Oh, see, this is from Bill. You have to thank him for me. You know, you've been fantastic. I want you to have this. Yay, I got a moonstone. All right, so we should, I think we can just fly back to one island. Yes, we can. And now the computer should be working so that I can actually use this and get back. Oh, hey, Karen. What kept you so long? Been out having a good time? We got it done. The PCs are up and running. The job went incredibly quick. Bill is one amazing guy. Oh no, there was almost nothing left for me to do. Celio, I have to hand it to you. I've l you've learned a lot. Oh, really? Well, there you have it. I'm finished with my job. We should head back to Kanto. Celio, I'll be seeing you again. Karen, I'm really sorry that we sent you off alone today. I promise I'll show you around these islands sometime. Build a secret ship. Yes. <laughs> All right. Hey, wasn't that a long cruise? My buddy Celio seemed to enjoy your company. I'm sure he'd welcome you if you were to visit him again. You, if you have the tri pass, you can always take the ferry from there, from Vermilion Port. All right, thanks for your company. So if you want to go back after you finish the quest, you go to Vermilion, you can go back. All right, you guys. So we finished the quest. Guess what that means? That means we're going to fight the Elite Four next time. Okay, let's, um, let's switch back to webcam only. I want to get everything saved. So, you guys know I like to save to a file as well. All right, so let's get it closed. All right, so in between this week and next week, y'all, um, I am going to um, get everybody leveled up to level 60. Um, and we're going to find out if we actually will beat this Nuzlocke or not. <laughs>
uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm nervous. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really nervous. So, uh, so we'll see. We'll see if we made it all the way to the end just to fail. <laughs> um, uh, on Saturday, for Inner Stage Window, we're going to be having a stream with Sasha where we talk about online community management. So if you love the Sasha streams, which I know you do, make sure that you're here for that. Um, if you want to talk about online community management, make sure you're here for it. Uh, we're going to zoom out basically. Instead of just talking about role play groups, we're going to be talking about on running online communities in general. So this could apply to like running a forum, running a subreddit, running a Discord server. You know, we're going to talk about like the in general things of, of herding cats with a particular focus on like what we have seen um, are really like pillars of making everything work and, and a lot of what not to do. So it's going to be a really interesting stream, really fun. And, um, and yeah, that's it. All right. You guys know how I do. I do things the same way every uh, content creator does. So you can find me in all of those places. Uh, Twitter is my most active social media. If you want to make sure that you have the latest updates, that is the best place to always check. I always make sure that the most important information is on the Twitter. You can join my Discord if you like. Um, we have a fun time in there. And um, if you want to see anything and everything I do, of course, check out my card. And don't forget, if you've enjoyed the stream, to follow. If you're watching on YouTube, please make sure you subscribe so that you can see all of my VODs go up. All right, you guys, we are going to raid an old friend that I've actually been following for a long time, but he never is live when it's time for me to raid. He streams usually a lot later, um, and I actually haven't seen him streaming in a long time. But anyway, he's playing. We were here together. So we're going to go raid Plausible Turtle. Um, all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day. Bye, y'all. <laughs>